Welcome to the PNSO Dinosaur Museum. Medium Carnivorous Dinosaurs. Nick the Ceratosaurus struggled among larger dinosaurs. Scientific name, Ceratosaurus. Period, Late Jurassic. Fossils found in the United States, North America. Description, Ceratosaurus was about seven meters long. It has a large head with its mouth full of sharp and curved teeth. It had a strong body, short forelimbs and long hind legs. The nasal horn was its defining feature. Nick the Ceratosaurus was a predator with a hat that was way too big for its body. Its mouth was full of sharp and curved teeth. It had a strong body, short forelimbs, long hind legs, and a stout, powerful tail. Altogether, it looked similar to many other carnivorous dinosaurs. But was there any difference? Many herbivorous dinosaurs lived near Nick the Ceratosaurus. These included the Plodocus, Dryosaurus, Stagosaurus, all were delicious, but these were not easy to catch. The Plodocus was usually more than 20 meters long, and some could grow to more than 30 meters. These moving mountains were not ideal targets. The smaller Dryosaurus were fast runners. Often before Nick set itself ready to attack them, they had already run out of sight. Stagosaurus were much less of a runner and not as big as the Plodocus, but they were fully armored. Apart from the towering bone plates on their backs, they also had four one meter long spikes on their tails. Those hit by the spikes would probably lose their lives. Compared to many other carnivorous dinosaurs, Nick the Ceratosaurus's hunting moments were more difficult. Hunger was not Nick's worst nightmare. Sometimes, a hungry Nick has to watch out for other predators that might prey upon it. Among the enemies were the nine meter long Allosaurus, which had large sharp teeth and 25 centimeter long ghastly claws in their forelimbs. Another one was the giant Torvosaurus, which was almost as big. They had a one meter long hat with teeth more than 12.5 centimeters long, allowing them to kill quickly. These ferocious predators lived next to Nick, forcing it to be constantly vigilant. The life of Nick the Ceratosaurus was more difficult, probably because of smaller sites. About seven meters long, Nick was a big boy in his family. Some of his friends were only five to six. Were five, six, or seven meter long dinosaurs small? Yes and no. Nick and his friends were bigger than the smallest predators, but compared to larger ones, their sizes were unremarkable. Even so, Nick and his buddies managed to live and prosper. How? Members of the Ceratosaurid family were disadvantaged compared to the bigger predators, but they play their strength right. They hunted in groups. They always attacked in small groups and helped each other. Three or four of them usually fought better than an Allosaurus or a Torvosaurus, so this group could hunt effectively or challenge larger predators. Like Nick, other Ceratosaurids were good team workers. Because of that, Ceratosaurids, which appeared in Laurasia in early Jurassic, quickly became the top predators. Later, the Tatanuri clade rose to dominance, forcing the Ceratosaurids to move south to Gondwana. By late Cretaceous, the whole Ceratosauridae family was able to dominate Gondwana, with some members traveling back north to reclaim their lost territory. In their long history, no difficulties had ever frightened the Ceratosaurids. Courage sustained them through one challenge after another, and they rose to dominance time and again. Welcome to the PNSO Dinosaurs Museum. Join our writer, Ms. Yang Yang, and artist, Mr. Zhao Chuang, and start this fantasy journey.